Richard Hadley. And uh, will he be able to perform the miracle New Zealand so badly needs? We Trevor Chappell to the Dean and Hadley. Six balls remaining. He's hit that, he's hit it well. It's going to Max Walker. And that's four! My, what a start! Wow! Oh, 11 required for victory. Five balls to be bowled. Well, I would say that uh, Greg Chappell's got to get Max Walker out of that position. That's Hadley's favourite hitting position. Trevor Chappell. There we go. Let's have a look at that on replay. Well, Richard Hadley, he wouldn't be over thrilled about that. He's been struggling all season to get an LBW himself. On this occasion, well, I would say that that might have just pitched outside leg stump. Certainly it would have hit the stumps. But uh, I think that Richard Hadley could justifiably feel a little bit annoyed at that decision particularly with all the troubles that he's had getting an lbw himself richard hadley lbw to trevor chapel for four new zealand seven for 225. four balls remaining 11 runs required for victory possibly the best they could hope for would be a draw two fours and a two smith not a big hitter and really it's unfortunate that edgar's not on strike well, I'd have to disagree with Smith not being a big hitter. He I saw him hit an awful big six off Dennis Silly at the Sydney Cricket Ground. But it's a very tight situation for him. Young cricketer. International uh, experience, not great. He's up against a, a bowler who is also not greatly experienced in international cricket. A lot of pressure out there. Feels one everywhere. He's hit it, hit it well. Go for two. And they get it. Three wickets in hand. Marsh up for the stumping. Or the run through. He's hit that, and that's Coming. runs. That's at least one. He'll probably go for the second and test him out. He's going. He's made it. He's home. What a great effort. Ian Smith, crowd are stunned. Fine running between the wickets. Tremendous courage. They need seven of two balls, and let's look at a tie. Six off two balls for a tie. Seven of two balls for a win to New Zealand. Trevor Chappell, the bowler. Smith, the batsman. 52,000 people in front of their seats. the chapel short of the length for the chapel coming on to bowl the last and vital over put away for four and he's picked up two wickets for the chapel slamming that one in short of the length it doesn't bounce very high and that's what's beaten ian smith the fact that it's kept a little bit low and he's hitting across the line looking for the big hit over mid wicket it's gone underneath his bat and just hit out just under halfway up the stumps. Ian Smith is out, bowled Trevor Chapel for four, eight down for 229. And New Zealand's only hope now is a six off the last ball for a tie. discussion well it looks to me as if they're going to bow underarm off the last ball Rod Marsh is saying no mate but I'm sure he's going to bow an underarm delivery on the last ball and bow it along the ground and be sure that it has not been hit for six the umpires have been told the batsmen have been told and this is possibly a little bit disappointing let's make sure it is an underarm but I've got the feeling it's a big ex-Victorian skipper we're going to bowl an underarm. We have believed it. 
That's a disappointing finish. Disappointed Brian affecting the crowd boom. And it's all over. After 50 overs, New Zealand 8 for 229. Well, oh, that's disappointing. Chris Edgar saying, what's going on? I'm very disappointed, Chris Edgar. At, at the moment, Cow is coming onto the field. No wonder the New Zealanders are disappointed, and none of them more disappointed than their skipper, Geoffrey Howard. There he is now, talking with the two umpires, umpires Cronin and Weezer, and I know exactly the reason he's out there. He's played his cricket over in the United Kingdom with Surrey for a number of years, and the Benson and Hedges domestic competition there is a series of rules designed to make the game flow freely and to avoid incidents such as the one that happened here today. Now there is the relevant rule on page two and it says that no bowler shall be permitted to bowl underarm and that's what Geoffrey Howarth is out there talking to them about. It is not in the Australian Benson and Hedges World Series Cup rules because the administrators didn't put it in. I hope they put it in by tomorrow morning otherwise uh, there'll be a lot of criticism for what was a disgraceful performance out there today. The other thing is that the reason it all happened in my opinion is that the captain got his sums wrong. Now, if 